My uh, former weekend GMA co-pilot, your predecessor and your friend, uh, ABC's Paula Ferris has written a very brave new memoir. The title, Called Out. She and I chatted about her new book and our old shenanigans. Check it out. Paula Ferris. From the first morning she took occupancy of the anchor chair. I am so thrilled to work alongside what I believe to be the best TV team in all of the world. It was a fun and fascinating ride. Toilet paper, it is expensive. Next thing she's going to admit to be to stealing it from the ABC News bathroom. <laughs> I didn't steal it. <laughs> Weekend GMA was the best experience in broadcasting that I've ever had. And I know that I'll never replicate that. I know I always say- Four I'm short years later, Paula made a monumental and deeply personal decision. Are you getting teary-eyed a little bit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Paula decided to step away from two big jobs, co-host of Weekend GMA and co-host of The View, for reasons she explains in her new book, Called Out. You know, I was leaning in so hard to what I'd been told to lean in, which is my career and my calling, and then I just burned out. We discussed the book in a video chat with our trademark mixture of jokes. I just ordered on eBay this, like, really great uh, doorstop. You just, like, shove this. <laughs> I would say you could use it as a coaster. <laughs> and seriousness. My calling's not career. It's all rooted in my true purpose, which is to love God and love people. And that's not going to change. Her wake up, she says, came in a series of personal challenges, including a miscarriage on the same day when she landed an exclusive interview with former White House press secretary, Sean Spicer. I have feel like I've been given the permission to branch out and to try new things and to not see myself so one dimensionally. And that's what I hope the book equips and encourages other people to do. Very proud of my <laughs> friend Paula Ferris, who, by the way, joins us live from her house in South Carolina. And uh, Paula, I understand you have some breakfast food with you. I was told that we were all going to have bacon this morning. Why am I the only one that's following <laughs> orders? I, I wish we had bacon. I mean, <laughs> Uh, I miss you guys. It's kind of like we're all reunited, and I do love you, and and I do miss you so much. And Dan, I texted Dan about five minutes ago. I said, "Are you going to say something nice about me?" And he said, "No." <laughs> so I'm just glad that you did. That you followed through and did say something nice from the bottom of your heart. <laughs> you guys, are you doing well? Yeah. How are you doing? The weather is way better down there in South Carolina. <laughs> Yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're homeschooling. As the sign behind me says, welcome to our beautiful chaos. I think we're all feeling that in this moment. But that's what I hope the book does, you know, to help people really root into true purpose and true identity and calling that don't shake in a personal crisis like the one I experienced or, you know, a pandemic like the one that we're going through right now. I really hope it encourages and equips people. So, and I do say a lot of nice things, Wit um, and Eva, about Dan and the book. And I should tell you, I was not paid to say those things. They come from the bottom of my heart. They do, because I do love you guys. And like I said, it's, you know, one of the greatest career experiences of my life. I love you guys a lot. And um, just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Well, Paula, we love you right wow. back. We are proud of you. As Dan mentioned, this is it's brave the way that you are presenting this. And I think it's important during this time of, of yes. reflection. It's a moment to reset for a lot of people. And I think your, your book yeah. is going yes. to help people along the way. Thank you so much. And it's great to see you, Paula, Thanks, as always. Yes, and Dan Yo, was oddly quiet all, during that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Paula. Her new book called Called Out, yeah. Why I Traded Two Dream Jobs for a Life of True Calling is out now. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.